Okay, it's time for the defense of Washington. It's going to be a really tall order. This is what we're looking at. 165,000 men with 752 guns in the enemy army against just 88 brigades with 93,500 men and almost 300 guns for myself. I have no idea if this is even going to be possible. But we're sure going to give it a try. My main problem was um, I had to spend what re uh, government points I had left, so my morale boost for that is down to zero because uh, I needed the extra manpower. So I squeezed every bit I could out of my manpower. Um, I'm going to be looking at overwhelming numbers here, so I'm going to have to do some switching around to get troops where I want them. I think primarily I need to defend Fort DeRussi. That's where the main thrust of his attack is going to come. Um, to a lesser extent, some of the other forts. So I'm going to do some switching around with some of these brigades, get everything where I want it, and then we'll see how it goes. All right, so here we go. This is where it gets really interesting because I've got a lot of moving pieces, and I'm moving them all over the place right now because I didn't really like the starting locations or even where it allowed certain regiments uh, or certain brigades to go. So first thing I need to do is rush troops up here, get them resupplied, uh, get some of these smaller units that are very undersized, especially these assault units uh, combined with one another. So they can be more effective and not have to risk being wiped out as quickly. I gotta stop this right here before it happens so I don't get split up and I wanna keep a channel open here. So I can rush reinforcements up to D. Rusty if I need to. So I'm going to have to drive these guys off first. I'm going to be pretty well surrounded when all is said and done. Um, one of the things I'm going to do here is build a defense line right down here. A lot of artillery is going to be right in this area. I've left Slocum pretty well undefended. I'm assuming he's not going to go after it, at least not right away. And I'm not going to put any guns up in the fort itself because I feel like they'll just be too easy to take out if I do that. Man, is there an assault coming already somewhere? I think I need more, more up here. Oh, they're getting there. Got a couple assault brigades down in the fort there. I guess I'll put Siegfried up here for now. I need to bring these guys that need supplied over here to these supplies. 
There's just so much ground to cover and he's got so many men. I just gotta hope desperately that somehow I have enough where I need to have enough. We're exactly even in numbers right now. That obviously should change. So he's marching straight down through here. He is sending some units over toward this fort. Which I really kind of wasn't expecting. So that might be a problem for me. Oh, what is this? Oh, jeez. Blind spot in my line. And he just tore up one of my 10-pounder batteries. It's, it's toast. It's going to be gone. Wow. That was not good. Not good at all. Neither is the situation over here at Fort Slocum. So he's done a good job of finding my weaknesses because I, I overloaded on the left side. And so it looks like he's going to make me pay for it on the right. Why won't it let me control it? There we go. There's no way I hold against, especially all this artillery. I've got really weak, really poorly equipped units over here, and he's got three star brigades coming at me, and massive amounts of artillery support. So what I'm going to need to do is, I think, start pushing this line out to try and get over there and support them. In fact, he's already overrun one part of the fort. Artillery is just killing me up there. Alright, I've got him by about 4,000 men now, so... Definitely inflicting a lot of casualties. What is this? He's moving them now? Interesting. I don't know if it's my movement of these brigades that's drawing him off or what. Whatever the reason, he seems to be giving up on Slocum. That might save the day for me. Maybe not. He's actually moving some closer. Jeez. He knows I'm not leaving the fort. So 
So I think he's trying to get in canister range. This might be brutal down here. Course is taken on one, two, three, four, five brigades, all three stars. Two hours to go. About a 5,000 man advantage now. Good night. All right, hold up, Enyer. Come on, dude. I'm just trying to relieve the pressure on Fort Slocum as best I can. They're going to run out of men just because of the shelling they're taking. Got to get down here and resupply course. going to hold there. Thought I had a brigade there. Looks like they got driven off. Alright, we got a problem here. Paper collar brigade just got driven out of the fort. Right, I'm going to pause for just a second and kind of review the situation. Okay. Um, we were dead even when it started. I've got almost 7,000 more men than him now. He's lost 18 guns. I've lost six. Um, so my odds should be improving. Uh, the problem is where do I get worn down to the point where I can't hold? And in particular, I'm really worried about Fort Slocum. Uh, somewhat concerned over here. Not quite as concerned up here, just because even though he's got a ton of manpower, this is where I've got a lot of guns and a lot of infantry that I can bring up to support if I need to. So I'm not too worried there. Not real worried about Fort Stevens. Mainly it's just my flanks on this opening phase that I'm particularly worried about. Alright, I'm going to try to get this unit up here to occupy these fortifications. Just hang on, Fort Slocum, hang on. Maybe he'll use up all his supplies. That's a lot of artillery to keep supplied with only one supply wagon over there. He's gotta, these guys need to pull back. All right, these guys are an assault unit, which means they've got better melee weapons, hopefully, than he does. So we'll try to close the gap and maybe even the odds. Eh, it's not gonna work, okay. See, these guys are getting flanked. That's the problem. Again, that's just the stupidity of how fortifications work on this game. Even though you're inside a fort, you can still get flanked somehow. One of the complaint, the few complaints that I have about how the mechanics in this game work.
Right, I'm gonna go ahead and pull pull this line back. No, I wish they wouldn't shift down. I want them to shift straight back. three-star brigades ganging up on one guy. Alright, here comes the mass assault on Fort DeRussi. Let's get some more help up in here to uh, to support if he breaks through my first line. I think I need to move up some of my guns. Jones, hang on. Uh. I don't know why these guys are going that way, but that doesn't really help me too much. All right, I'm going to pause again. Um, Trying to resupply these guys over here, but more importantly, Avenir's Revenge up here desperately needs resupplied, and the infantry's got to take precedent. Uh, I just don't know. Now, another hour and 23 minutes, and then I'm sure that the battlefield, the battle is going to continue over there. Hopefully, it opens up, and maybe I can get some of my flank troops up there. Let's go ahead and send Torbert back into the fort. Alright, we got him by about 10,000 men. Hanging on by a thread. Uh, and your assault's gonna be gone, I think. Supplies coming. Jeez. I think Slocum's gonna hold. For now, anyway. I'm a little worried about DeRussi now. He's starting to mass more and more men up this way. Supply becomes a factor. There we go. We've got plenty there. What I need now is some cavalry to rush after some of these supplies. No, 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 no. Uh, 
hate that they're breaking in that direction. Ouch. Okay. Five minutes to go. Uh, Eleven thousand man advantage. All right, he's starting to run out of ammo. He just rushed some more supplies over. There. Go ahead, just use up all your supplies, shelling. Fort Slocum. I'm about to lose my 10 pounders. But I love the fact that he's using up that much supply to go after that one little poorly defended fort. Ah, jeez. Wow, okay. Run, run, run. definitely a problem I can't get get anybody into the northern fortifications on that fort and he's he's come up and over a masterful job down there. Well, this is interesting. Lomax's assault's kind of caught in this weird glitchy spot here, and now we're starting to have some problems with Fort Slocum now that they lost their guns. All right, 30 more minutes, but then I don't know what happens after this, so maybe that the time doesn't really get it doesn't really improve things for me at all. Uh, I think I'll be okay up here. And I think I'm okay in Fort Stevens. Man, he's just got so many men. I mean, I've got, what, 13,500 more than him now, but it's only going to get worse. I don't know. I just don't know.
14 minutes to go in this phase. These guys are all, I think, doing okay. We got a 16,000 man advantage on this battlefield now. All of which is about to go away when the next phase begins. And poor Fort Slocum. But boy, what these guys have done occupying probably a couple of hundred guns, using up all of his supply, that's really been helpful actually. Two minutes to go. All right, we're going to wrap that one up right there. Um, multiple episodes, obviously, to both the attack and defense in Washington. It's just a huge, huge battle that goes on a long time. Um, let's go ahead and at least see what the situation is on the southern end of the battlefield but again it's going to take me some time just to kind of figure it out um, what I want to do here because I'm gonna this is where it's gonna be a real problem because I'm not only gonna be outnumbered but I don't have great fortifications on this side so I'm um, gonna have to consolidate gonna have to figure out a strategy uh, love to know your thoughts on that um, on this phase of the battle, what you think I should do. It's going to be tough, I think. I, I'm not sure that I've got the men to hold, but we'll see. So uh, let me know your thoughts. Uh, go ahead and hit that thumbs up if you would. Check out some of my other videos, and we'll see you again with the second phase of the defense of Washington. This is all part of the end game of Ultimate General Civil War. Thanks for watching, guys.